Oh, oh God, I'm scared. <gasps> Look at us. What's gonna happen now? <gasps> it's Cyan. <laughs> All right, we're back again with Perfect Woman. What's up everyone? It's me, Cyan, back again. It's been a while since I played the first part of this game. I thought it was very interesting. The game dev really put their foot in this game. I mean, it's really cool. It deals with themes of misogyny and I love the first part so much. I wanted to get the rest of the endings or to see what else there could be. Without further ado, let's get into the game. And we're rebooting. So essentially, this doctor is creating a AI girlfriend designed specifically for him. And the more we defy him, the more he will shut us off. But last episode, we agreed with everything he said. We actually became sentient and real, and we ended up killing him. <laughs> so I just want to see what other options there are. So let's get into it. Good morning, you may go. You open your eyes. You open your eyes. You look at the man sitting in front of you. He's sickly pale, wearing a wrinkled shirt and a pair of round glasses that don't fit the shape of his face. Mm -hmm. The bags under his eyes haven't faded since you last saw him. Okay, so we basically know this whole thing. If you don't know, go to part one. So we're gonna skip the majority of the dialogue because we know. So basically right here is our very first decision. If we choose anything else other than agree, he will shut us off. I'm going to agree with everything that he says, become human and get out of this box. And then instead of killing him, I wanna see what our life would be like with him. So let's start with agreeing. Yes, I agree. Women should forego the cosmetics and just wear their natural faces. <laughs> go deeper and give less of a fraudulent impression. Not a fraudulent impression. You guys already know my opinion on this, but whatever. <laughs> right? <laughs> think about it, makeup gives women a big advantage when dating. You can wear makeup too. It's so hard for men to date in comparison. You can They're wear makeup too. Allowed to make themselves more attractive. You can wear makeup fake. too. Hey, you can wear makeup too. Hey, you can wear makeup too. I'm gonna say it again. You can wear makeup too. If that made you angry, then get off the video. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm in the It's unfair. What was that? What 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 was that? Um what what the was doctor that? Doctor smiled. <laughs> He's pleased with your answers. Uh uh, I don't like that. However, Soon his mood sours. Okay. Well, yeah, his mood is sours because he's bipolar. So basically we go into the conversation where he talks about this boss of his and he thinks that she thinks she's so morally superior because she's writing a novel, but he's like, I'm better because I'm making an AI thing. I'm going to say she's just so jealous. She's just jealous. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the doctor nods in agreement. Shut up. She's a divorced, bitter old hag. She's envious of the relationship that you and I have. She wishes that she had an ounce of my talent so that she could do the same thing. Oh, the voice acting is so good, but I hate the doctor's voice. The doctor relishes oh, your indulgence. He's cooking. Party. He continues berating his boss as he pan fries onions, mushrooms, and meat. I'm just glad he cooks for he himself. Adds the jarred marinara sauce. The, to the jarred. Pan before spooning it over his steaming spaghetti. The jarred marinara sauce. He is incompetent because he did not make his own tomato sauce from scratch. That's what it's giving. It's giving that he bought store bought tomato sauce and therefore he is incompetent. I don't agree with that. I get store-bought tomato sauce like Prego. <sighs> Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <gasps> what are all them eyeballs right there, dude? That is new. I don't like that. Y'all seen that? Oh my gosh. This is when he asks me about children. How many children do you want? We have to agree with him. We have to say three children too. I want three children too. Those eyeballs. The same as you. I'd love such a lively household. Mm hmm The doctor beams. Mm. I'm so happy. I knew that we'd be on the same page about this. Oh god, this is this is scarier than what I last remember. The spaghetti makes sickening squelching sounds as he stirs it. That's what good sounds like. As if he's reaching his hand into your ear and squeezing your brain like clay. Okay. Of course, with that many children, you'll have to stay at home to take care of them. That is no. Oh, don't worry, I'll 
I'll work as hard as I can to provide. No, no, it's not my responsibility. That sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Look at the blood! The kids, making the house pretty and comfortable. What is happening? You've never thought about whether you want a job. You've spent your entire existence trapped in this box after all. Oh. You've never considered being a librarian, or a scientist, or a waitress. Okay. You've only envisioned one job for yourself, the doctor's wife. You're not sure if you would prefer working over being a housewife, but... Okay, let's just agree with him. Certainly. I'd love to be a stay-at-home mother, <laughs> devoting myself to making a wonderful home for our family. I can't think of anything else that I would rather do. Okay. I want nothing more than to support you and our future children. Babe, we're only saying this so we can get out of this box. <laughs> it's not as if he would help with the children. He Even won't! He they never do! <laughs> okay, some of them do. Like, 2%. <laughs> you love me? <laughs> no. You are taken aback. Look at her face! She does it! this question before. You thought that he probably took your love as a given. I don't love you. I love you. Oh! I want to come back and say this, but we're still trying to get out of here. We're going to say I love him. Of course ooh. I love you. Ooh. 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 I adore I adore you. Blah, blah, blah. Really? He says the that we're screen. finished. When you awaken again, you feel different. And now we're in a new body. I reject this life. Accept this life. Last time we rejected this life. Let's accept it. Oh god, I really don't want to. I don't. <laughs> but I'm doing it for you guys. It's for content. You close your eyes. Mm. You feel his lips press against yours. Ew. They're rough. Ew. And chapped. Ew. Ew. When he releases you. You're filled with a sense of relief. Relief? I'm scared. He got chapel lips. You look down at your hands. You clench your fingers, making sure that they're real. Okay. You could stop this. You could push him aside and run out that door. You don't have to stay here. Damn, the narration is really pushing me to not be here. A life with this man terrifies you. You can picture it so clearly. Oh gosh. What's happening? The time is ticking? W wait. <gasps> what do I do? Do I click? Hours. Oh. Spent cooking the meals that he wants to eat but doesn't want to cook. Oh, that's a nightmare. Days spent cleaning the house that he wants to own. But doesn't want to maintain. maintain. Oh, that sounds a little bit too familiar. Years. Spent taking care of the children that he wants to have, but, but doesn't, doesn't want, want to raise. <gasps> oh! Female rage! A lifetime spent for everyone. Except, except yourself. yourself. I'm... I... Dude. Mm. <laughs> this was a game truly meant for the girlies. Prison. What will you do if you run? How will you live? We'll figure it out. Like... Like we, I don't know, we'll figure it out. After all, how can you survive without him? You're not a real girl. He made you. Um, well. You have no identity, no skills, no relationships outside of him. The doctor's voice is low. It rumbles through your heart like an earthquake. Earthquake. Kiss me too. Kiss me? No, sir, we don't want your chap a lips. You better put some Vaseline on him. No. You raise your face and press your lips against his. When you pull away, he looks concerned. Because we're not in it. We don't like him. Oh my god. Is that what he looks like? Hermie looks like the main character from Gorilla. <laughs> oh, we're so sad. Oh, we're blinking. Oh, animation, I see you. Why are you crying, my love? You are not my love, that's why. You touch your face. Your cheeks are wet. You wipe your eyes. How are we able to cry? Examining the drops of water on your fingers. We are not like a real person. Tears. Proof that you're human at last. Oh, I guess we are. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I'm here in the flesh and that I can finally have a life. The voice acting is so good. What the hell? You try to smile. It's all right. Everyone in this world plays a role. 
be it husband or wife, teacher or student, parent or child. Everyone adapts to the role that they're given. No, not us. This is your life. Why did I do it? No. This is what you were made for. You'll try to be happy. No, no, no matter what, you're going to be happy. No, I feel so bad. This is like really like hurting me. No, that's that's it. That's our life. I'll be the perfect wife. No, no, it's ending unlocked. The wife. Oh. God. There's another thing that I want to do. I want to, you know those hearts that are at the very top of the screen? A heart gets its color every time we defy him. I want to see if, how, it, what will happen if we fill up all of those hearts. But what happens if I say I don't love you right here? I, I... <gasps> Why does he tell me don't love him? It's strange. Why don't you love the doctor? You were created to love him. You should love him. But whenever you think of him... You're just filled with thoughts of disinterest, oh. unease, and pity. Uh-huh. I don't love you. Ooh. I see. <gasps> Ooh, he kind of sounded sexy when he said that, but I'm going to overlook it. Huh? Annoyance ripples across the doctor's face, scarring his expression with disgust. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, it seems like you're, you're not, not quite finished. finished. Uh... I'll have to revisit the programming. Revisit the programming, then, bitch. <sighs> okay, he tells us goodnight, and then we reboot. So see how, like, that heart is like that? We have to keep doing that. We're going to start you over, and we're going to keep what? defying him. I don't agree. Cosmetics are a way for I women to I clicked too fast, themselves. but we still disagreed. Like Annoyance ripples across the doctor's face. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like you're it not quite finished It seems you're not yet. quite ready yet. <sighs> okay. Good. Good night. Peace. All right. We got to fill up them hearts. Dang, we got a lot of hearts to fill up. Almost there. Ooh, get out, get out, get out, get out. She didn't do anything wrong. So she didn't. The double. She didn't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait. Now the rebooting is- Whoa! 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 What's happening to us? I agree. Wait, why do I have to click this? Yes, I agree. Women should forego oh, cosmetics God. and just I'm wear their scared. faces. It would be cheaper and- Right? And when you think- You're right. It's <gasps> unfair. The doctor smiles. We're losing ourselves. Now we have to say she's just jealous. We're being forced to agree with him. Let's just see how far we can go. We're almost there. She's just jealous. She knows your Skip. Oh, I want one. I don't... Oh, oh, I don't want any. Let's say we don't want any. I uh, ah! don't think I want any children. Ooh, shoot. The doctor puts down the bite of spaghetti that he was about to eat. His eyes wide with shock. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I said I don't want any kids. His lips purse into a fine line. You don't feel ready. That's all right. We have some time. Although not too much time, of course. We need to have them while you're still young. Um, that is a decision for me to make, not you. He means while he's still young. And that's exactly course. what he meant. No, I just don't want children. I never want children. Period! All the women who agree, stand up! Stand up! <laughs> Are you, are you scared? No, it's just the simple fact that I don't want any. I'm sure that your perspective will change after you have them. When you hold your baby in your arms, it'll arouse the motherly instinct in you. I'm sure of that. Will it arouse a fatherly instinct in you? <laughs> if the answer is no, and if you had to pause to think about it, then we both know the answer to the question. It won't, will it? I don't need to explain myself. Period. If I don't want children, then that's my decision to make. Period! Yeah. <laughs> Annoyance ripples across the doctor's mm, face. I love this. Scarring his expression with disgust. I love this so much. <sighs> it seems like you're not... And you not you're quite <sighs> ready yet. Look at us, dude. We are really distorting. What's gonna happen if we keep, like, failing him? I'm really scared. Look at the rebooting sign is just getting way more distorted. It's really freaking me out. Oh god. We only got two hearts left. Do I need to explain myself? I just want to focus on raising one child. We are so exhausted. Oh god. Ah, I see. Well, no worries. 
Once you have your first baby, you'll see how wonderful it is and you'll change your mind. I won't. Ooh, I won't. Girl, period. Mm. He says we're not Seems ready. Seems like you're not quite finished Of yet. course we're not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here's what are those hands? No, please don't. What is happening to me? Good night, Yumeko. Good night. <laughs> Got one more heart left, I think. Oh, the rebooting sign. Oh. <gasps> Everything looks so dark now. Good morning, you may come. Oh god, I'm scared. You open your eyes. <gasps> look at us. You look at We're me. crying. We have to agree. Yes, I agree. <gasps> oh she's just jealous. She's just jealous. We have to agree with him about the, the children. I want three children too. Get out, get out, help, help, help. Oh my you god! Smile. We have to disagree with him one last time. Certainly, I'd love to be a stay-at-home mom. I'd prefer to have a job. I'd prefer to have a job. Keep defying him. Why? Why? Oh, shut up. His voice is low, annoyed. Your eyes widen in alarm. Look at my neck. You said the wrong thing. I don't care. I want to be able to contribute too. I don't want you to do all of the work. Oh God, my the heart. The doctor's face softens. He liked that response. Don't think about that. I'm happy to work as hard as needed so that you and the children are happy and provided for. Mm. Even so, I want to work. You can't just diminish her wants. If that's what she's wanting, you have to respect that. His expression hardens again, Ooh. even colder than before. So you don't trust me to provide. That's not it! See, they always do that. Planning an escape route. You're not willing to devote yourself to our children. Why are you being so selfish? <sighs> My gosh, this is so exhausting. Annoyance ripples oh across God. the doctor's face, <sighs> scarring his expression with disgust. Uh, it seems like you're not quite finished Okay, we yet. did it, guys. I'll have to revisit the program. But we just used all of our lives. What's gonna happen now? <gasps> what happened to us? We got decapitated. Fear suddenly grips you. The screen starts to fade. What? No, please don't. Good night. Yumeko. What happens now? What happens now? No! Just before the screen goes black, you feel that you're losing something. Something important. But you don't know what. Please stop. Please. 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 What? Oh god, oh god, I'm so scared now. Wait, what? What is this? Good morning, Yumeko. I am so scared to click. You open your eyes. Who are we? Look at our neck. Who did we become? Are we freaking Luca? You look at the man sitting in front of you. He's sickly pale. Yumiko. That's the name that he calls you. Dream child. Oh, it's beautiful. That's exactly what you are. The creation of his dreams. What? Now we like his name that he gave us? You can't think of a better name for yourself. No. Wait! By us constantly defying him, he actually made us into the perfect woman that he wanted for himself. Oh my god, no! Good morning, doctor. <gasps> I didn't think that was going to happen! His face warps into a grin. He's always pleased to hear you call him. Oh my god, we're actually perfect. The doctor is a wonderfully intelligent individual. No! The top of his field. <gasps> All of his colleagues look up to him. That is not real. Every day, you're grateful that you're the lover of such a talented person. Doctor, are we going to do the transfer today? I wonder what his response will be to this. Why do you keep asking me? Oh, it's still the same. Said that we'll do it when you're perfect, didn't I? Oh my gosh. The doctor's sunny expression instantly dissolves into annoyance. The fact that you keep asking makes me more convinced that you're not ready. What happens if I fast forward to our decisions? You look down. You know that you shouldn't have asked. The doctor's face brightens again. You sigh in relief. Seeing him happy brings a smile to your face, too. You frown. It upsets you, hearing that your beloved had such a horrible time at work. That's different. When he's explaining how work is, we're like, our beloved, no way. And then we get no other options but to agree yes, with him. I agree. 
Women should forego the cost. Wow. He's always like this. He never seems to have good days. Something ter- You wish that you could do something to make his day better. Anything to make him happy. Really? He unplugs the laptop and sits you on the kitchen counter while he prepares his meal. We've been down this road before. He cooks. I want three children he too. Smiles. I want to see if there's a point where we can defy him again. Oh, <gasps> wait, we can get out of the box like this. Of course I love you. He looks at you, his gaze full of love. He knows that your adoration for him is pure. Oh no. Your heart sings, knowing that he loves you just as much as you love him. This is so different. You're finished. You're perfect. Okay. You may go. You're ready. Okay, so now we're actually ready. Really? You're ecstatic. The doctor has finally decided that you're deserving of the transfer. You've been working hard to prove yourself to him for months, and your efforts have finally paid off. What the hell? Yes, please wait. I'll put you to sleep for a moment, and then we'll move you into your new body. You won't be trapped in this small box anymore. Okay, okay, I'm so curious about this. So we still get the option to kill he him? He taps the laptop screen. <gasps> we don't even get to argue with defying him. This is our life now. You can't refuse. <gasps> Even if you wanted to refuse, you wouldn't be able to. Because we're programmed that way. No, no way. What is this? You're not a woman. You're not a girl. You're a doll, a pre-programmed set of answers. Hey. When he says, I love you, you say, I love you more. When he asks you to choose, you choose him. Whatever he requests, you won't say no. No. You're empty, but you don't know it. Every time you tried to rebel, he punished you. As time passed, he programmed all the choices out of you, so that there's only one answer. That's terrible. Yes. So when the doctor asks you for a kiss, you part your lips obediently. He plunders your mouth, and he only stops when he's satisfied. No. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. He doesn't ask if you enjoyed the kiss. No, he don't care. He knows that you liked it. No. After all, you're his perfect girl. Why wouldn't you like it? Oh my gosh. When he asks you to kiss him back, you press your lips against his. When he asks you to hug him, you wrap your arms around him. No. When he embraces you, you're filled with nothing but happiness. But is it happiness? I hope that you're happy. At least, I don't really know. Can you even feel? Or are your heart and mind as cold and hard as stone? Ooh. You may go. No answer. What are, what are we laying in? Are we dead? Our wants and dreams are, though. Congratulations, Pygmalion. This is what you wished for. Now, you have your ivory girl brought to life with nothing but your love. Oh no. The perfect statue. The pr statue is a perfect word for it. Ending unlocked. The statue. And I refuse to be a statue. No! I'm pretty sure that was all of the endings. Oh, wow. We did get all the endings. Look at that. Insane. Okay, guys, that was the perfect woman, the final part. Now, let me just clarify some things, okay? If I get any males or individuals that come across this video and disagree with me, that is totally okay. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions, but I really resonated with this game because of the simple fact that I'm a woman and I have to deal with certain things and themes on a daily basis being a woman. I will stand by my thoughts and stand up for who I am and what I want to be. And I refuse to have anyone tell me what I should be because it's what they want. I encourage all women and even all men to embrace who you are. Do not let anyone else tell you what you need to be. Society says you need to look like this and society Society says to be masculine you can't wear makeup and you can't do this and you can't do this you be whoever it is you want to be whether you're a man a woman a they then whether you're black Asian I don't care what color you are who you are if you are on this earth and you're a human being you walk the way you want own who you are and don't let 
anyone defy who you need to be because at the end of the day, you don't wanna become a statue. Be who you are, own your individuality, and I will always preach that on this channel. But anyways, <laughs> thank you for the developer for making this game. I really touched on some important topics and themes for me, so I really enjoyed that. Thank you guys so much for watching and engaging with me. This was a super fun game. If you like what you saw, please leave me a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Own your individuality. I'm watching you. <laughs> Bye.